Going to prison as a teenager was terrifying. Hell, just going to jail was scary because I didn't know what to expect. And the whole time I was in the jail, guys were talking about, oh, down the road, things are going to be different. Both it's going to be a lot more violent and people are going to be doing a lot worse things, but also you're going to like your time a lot more, which didn't really make sense to me. When I got to my first major prison, I remember pushing my things down the boulevard on a laundry cart and wondering what I was getting myself into. And we walked into the pod and I saw people on the phone and reading and watching TV and going to work. It just surprised me. Because this seemed a lot like the jail. Like, it wasn't friendly, it wasn't the place I wanted to be, but it wasn't particularly scary either. After a few days, I had kind of gotten used to the routine, and it started early, where they would do a standby for chow call. You'd have to stick your hand out the door, they would open your door, you would walk out into the pod, and then they would shut your door again. And you'd have to sit in the pod for five minutes or 20 minutes or an hour, you never really knew, until they actually called chow and let you go over to the chow hall. And it was normally fairly quiet that early in the morning, but it was alarmingly quiet that morning. And you know in prison, if it's ever totally still or totally quiet, something terrible is about to happen. And sure enough, these two guys start to arguing, they raise their voices, one guy reaches his pants and pulls out this giant Rambo knife. And the other guy pulled out a sock with two locks in it, like a long bolo weapon. But the problem is you're actually supposed to run the sock through the lock. You're not supposed to put it inside because socks aren't very strong. So the guy with the Rambo knife picks up one of those round trash can lids and uses it like a shield. So he's basically got a sword and a shield, and the other guy has two locks in a sock. He swings the sock one time, and sure enough, it hits the shield. The locks go flying off in both directions. He's holding an empty sock against the guy with a shield and a sword. My first thought was, I'm about to watch someone die. And I think that's what's so terrifying about prison, is that 90 or 95% of the time, it's just kind of calm or normal, or it's not really a big deal. It's not where you want to be, it's not comfortable, but it's not total chaos. And out of nowhere, you have situations like that just happen. And some people grew up in environments that were just like this, or even less safe than this. But for those of you who didn't, imagine you have your routine. You get up and you go to the office every day. But two or three times a year on your way to the office, you see somebody getting stabbed. It's just part of the deal. And the next day, it'll be right back to normal like nothing ever happened.